Good morning, and thank you. I'd like to welcome my guest, Michael Hansen, TD Securities. Michael, good morning. Welcome, morning. and let's get right into it. You just had a big fixed income conference, which is great, because I'd like to talk about what the investors and the attendees there were thinking about, especially when it comes to my topics I am most concerned with, and that, of course, is you know, the business cycle, what's going on with risks in the market, and of course, the big players and potential policy errors from China, Europe, and Japan. Tell us what investors were thinking about. Yeah, thanks. I think it was really interesting because in the end, there was a, quite a lot of sentiment in favor of what you might call a Goldilocks scenario. Uh, you had a number of investors suggest that central banks around the world have turned more dovish, and that's really extended the cycle, particularly in the case of the U.S., You've had really no investors looking for a recession in the foreseeable future. Uh, and that obviously favored uh, risk assets. On the other hand, people really thought that bond yields were capped in the current environment. And, you know, that, that makes sense, Michael. And to some extent, they were obviously correct. Look at 325 in November. Look at the fact that we were trading last week under 235 briefly. What is the rationale, though, that in the end, uh, don't uh, these investors care about debt deficits and supply? Uh, I think they do, uh, but I don't think they see it as a concern for the foreseeable future, quite frankly. I think it's a combination of dovish central banks, particularly the Fed, the idea being that the Fed just is on the sidelines for the foreseeable future, and the next move is, in many people's minds, more of a cut. The idea that inflation remains very low. And then another interesting topic that came up was a shortage of fixed income assets. People are looking to deploy cash, and they can't really find good places to do it. You know, it, that last point is very salient because it has been a topic for a while that good, high-quality paper, especially on the sovereign side, competing with central banks, competing with insurance and pension funds, there is high demand. But on the other hand, my issue is complacency. So investors think it's Goldilocks, risk on, but is their behavior match their opinions? I guess what I'm saying is I see a potential also for chasing the equity markets, should they jump ahead here? Your final thoughts? Yeah, I think that's fair. And I think if you've got a world where everything looks really good and you've got really strong risk assets, that is a world where central banks may think that they can continue to actually move a little closer towards where they might think neutral is. I'm not sure the Fed is on the sidelines if the economy is actually as strong as some of these views seem to imply. Excellent. Michael Hansen, thank you for joining us and relating some of investor sentiment at your conference.